everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Peaches Missing, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm back to Blue Sea, and we already knew how to get the secret exit. It was just a matter of actually, well, getting it. That was a little treacherous. So I decided to head back to where the P-Switch was, and now we gotta go all the way back to where we found the secret exit key slash keyhole combination. I don't think it was up here. I think it was probably the second shaft. Also, this spot is ass. So pretty much what you need to do is just all, you might as well. I could not have done that any worse. Jeez. I am just bad at video games. Managed to get hit and lose the other power up I could have gotten. Because, well, reasons. I think it was up here? Yeah, I think it's this one. No, it's, it's definitely this one. Okay, there we go. We did it. Bonus mini game. Huh. Maybe I don't want to play the mini game. Maybe I got all I need right here. What is this? Just kill all the enemies? Oh god. I guess something you just let them fall. God, I see what they want me to do. And that looks evil as hell. Yeah, that was a bottomless pit down there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to stop throwing the baseballs and then just kill him. Okay, where am I safe to? Ah! Yeah, when you're holding boy on those blue blocks, you're gonna fall? So that was a little dickish. Thank God I didn't have to get up there. You get a lot of lives for this. And getting another feather, not bad either. I mean, I can always come back here for another feather if I so choose. Let's do the lava cave. This music's a little too joyful for a lava cave. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh god, Kirby's adventure music. Well, I mean, I don't think... It's not like I've never heard it in a Mario game before. I'm pretty sure I can't touch those, uh, lava balls. That shell went right through the dry bones. That is just cruel. I don't know, can I step on those lava cracks? I'm a bit paranoid now. Oh, that was close. Okay. Alright. Not a fan of... <clears throat> Not a fan of lava levels. Hold on. Oh, these... That's just part of the background. Okay, that you definitely cannot step on. Kind of wish I had a spare power up before I found that out. Oh, I didn't even see it. I'm an idiot. Alright, so you know what this means. I'm just gonna go here. Because the power-up is just right here. There. Guaranteed cape coming up. Oh, Marion Cape plus Ape. You know, that would actually be a pretty good show. Like, Mary has a cape, and she's living with an ape. And it has to be on Fox. Because what other, uh... 
network would take that. Eh, maybe NBC. Who knows? Um, come on. Don't like those parts where the potobos are like coming out of nothing. That part stresses me out because of like the potobo moving on with the platform. I'm nervous that these platforms are gonna sink too deep. I could have swore I hit Y there and nothing happened. That dry bone stopping on that one spot that's unsafe, that's what screwed me over. I don't think that coin really does anything for me special. And I'm not sure about that. That's definitely there just to mess with me. Uh, oh, good, I made it. Okay, I, I kind of just clipped through the pipe. And that's all there was to the level. All right, we made it to the castle. Let's uh, see what that's all about. Maybe more lava. Let's find out. Huh, look at that, I was right. The background doesn't really look like a place that would have like lava. It kind of looks more like a shed. If I could be completely honest here. Seeing chains hanging around, that doesn't remind me of Mario 2 at all. And that's all I did it for? Okay. Whatever. Have your way, game. I have a feeling that these red pipes are probably gonna hurt me, a la Crash Bandicoot. I kinda wish I was playing Crash Bandicoot. And not Twin Sanity. That game was okay, but it didn't really feel the same. And it's too bad I already let's play the, uh... I let's play the original Crash Trilogy. And Wrath of Cortex, which is basically Crash 4. Because those were really fun games. I mean, I haven't played all the GBA games, and I haven't played Crash Team Racing. But I mean, one day, it could happen. Something tells me I might want to go this way. Oh, it doesn't make a difference if I took the other path. Maybe the other path would not lead to where I need to go. Oh, sliding kills the big boos, but not the dry bones. Got it. Wait a minute. Oh. I was thinking, am I stuck? Nope, false alarm. Also invisible ceiling. Could you imagine if you dropped your P-Switch, like, right in the Bowser statue, that it becomes impossible to jump on? Oh, that would be a middle finger. If there ever was one. Also, I don't like this jump. When timing is so intricate, imagine just missing it by like a frame and then you fall. Not to mention the ceiling was a little too low. If you were small, this would not be an What is happening here? Why am I like this? Why did the game not explain this to me? Like, why is this just suddenly happening? God, this is so jank. Like, just inexplicably throw me in this mode. If you just tap the button, you can go pretty far. I feel like that would benefit me in any way. Oh, Mega Mole. That's the one that shoots the bullet bills. Okay. 
Also watch out for the hot pipes. I think it's only uh, spin jumping that kills these guys. Okay, now his moving is a little bit more erratic. I did not duck there, I swear to god. Whoa, okay. And he's dead. Nice. Okay, so it's on to the next world. I have no idea what the next world is like. Because we can't even see it in the overworld. Probably a forest or an ice world. Oh no, never mind, it just takes you to the other side of it. Deciduous forest. More blowing leaves. And Yoshi's Island enemies. Well, at least you can kill these with fireballs. I remember there have been other hacks where, like, if you jumped on those, like, flying wigglers, you would pay a heavy price. Because they would come at you with full force. Plus, we saw where the uh, keyhole is. Now, where the key is, is anyone's guess. Now, the game could be an absolute jerk and hide the key behind the trees. God knows what they are gonna do. Maybe it's in a pipe. That would be a little bit more reasonable. Oh, alright. Well, that's a P switch. Now, what would I need this for? Uh huh. Thank God I can't fall through that. Oh. I see what I need to do. Just make sure I get rid of every threat I see. Fine. Oh god. All right, we got to go all the way back to the left now. That's not frustrating at all. Especially with a level like this. We should be close to the keyhole right about now. Oh god, I forgot about this part. It's like some of the tree branches you can't even jump on, but these you can. So it messes with you. Oh, it just takes us back here. Well, I never actually did this level, so I might as well do it now. Wow. I think the game just wants you to be small. So they put a mushroom there in case you were already small and about to die. <laughs> so that way, you, they guarantee you will be small. Uh... I don't know if I'm doing this right, but... Yeah, I think I'm doing it wrong. I think I bunged it. Wait a minute, I didn't even find a regular P-switch! Wait, I can, I can get up here this way. Oh, there's a trampoline. Yoshi? Didn't think I'd get one of those. Hmm. Am 
how the hell do I get the P-Switch now? Oh, okay, I think I need Yoshi for the... to get up here. To get to the P-Switch. But I have no way to get to the silver P-Switch. So I think I shagged it up. on that now the freak do I do with this now let me think about this for a moment where did I see a keyhole was it literally like over here? Was I supposed to just go around all this? So, I think I screwed it up. Wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Can I get a running start to get up here? No. Oh, if it was possible for me to get up there... Let's see what's beyond this way. Oh! I needed to create the bridge to go this way. I, th I think I got it now. It just requires a little bit of a thought process. Maybe a little bit too much of one. But one nonetheless. So yeah, first thing we need to do, you get the trampoline, mm -hmm. like so. Bada bing, bada boom. It's looking pretty smooth already. And then you gotta use the trampoline to get the Yoshi. Which, of course, I think you gotta use it to get to the silver P-switch. Okay, I see what I need to do. It just looks very tricky. Huh. I think I have a plan where I want to steer it. What if I do it like this? Keep steering it to the right. Like so. Oh, but then we got this problem. I don't know how I'm going to make this possible. Oh, boy! It's always one thing after another, now is it? How the frick did I get to that P-switch again? Oh, wait, now I remember. I have to do this. get to the other end of this. What is at the other end of here? Was that key even needed for anything? I don't think it was. Okay, well, there's another Yoshi. And I don't think it goes away ever. Shell might though. I don't know if I needed that for anything. I hope I didn't. Here. I think I need the mushroom. So, what was the mushroom for? To force me to take a hit? I think I could have just jumped across this. Needed the Yoshi to get the trampoline. Oh, God. Who thought of 
these damn puzzles. So I think I need the P-Switch to get to the Yoshi in the first place. But how the hell do I get to the P-Switch? Well, at least I can reset the puzzle. So the P-Switch is probably the last part of the puzzle. Because the door is over there. And it doesn't look like it's possible for me to just get over there. Otherwise, I would have done that by now. think this uh, block is needed for anything. But just in case, I should probably take it with me. Oh! The Yoshi was not needed to get the trampoline. It was just... You had to be big! That's all it was! So that grab block is there for no reason. So now, what I need to do... Thankfully I did not screw that up. Am I at the end of the level yet? No? Okay. Okay, now I'm at the end of the level. Jeez! Imagine dying to that enemy. After all the puzzles you solved, just one stationary enemy, you're dead. <laughs> Stay star level four. Poison. Huh, all right. I'm gonna leave that alone. We're gonna head back at the normal exit. Cause you know what? I still kind of need to do that. without a power-up is not wise. But I have no choice. <laughs> oh, man, sometimes you can't even see where you are when it comes to these trees. Because the foliage hangs so low. to go for the key anymore. But I think there was a power-up in here, too? I don't remember. Damn football! How hard is it to kill a football? What is up with that? Oh yeah, there was a, one of these coins, too. Yeah, that's what I came here for. Now I have two flowers. Now I think this level will be a little bit more tolerable. Well, I, I could have just got one here. Well, okay, I'll d disregard everything I said. Apparently I'm full of crap. You heard it here, folks. I am full of crap. Like, Bunga, if you're so full of crap, why don't you just use the bathroom? No, uh, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying here, Mr. Straw Man. Okay, that's the end of that level. Man, these levels are starting to suck. Now, I don't mean they're badly designed, but difficult. And so many secret exits! Is this like. World 5 of the actual Super Mario World where almost every level had a secret exit? The good walk. Nothing to do with that hit movie the, or hit show, The Good Wife. Apparently I'm supposed to have a P-Switch over there? 
So the game's telling me, whoa, how to live my life? Okay. Think I can stand on this. And there's a trampoline. this here? I don't know. Aha! Well, that looked a little ugh, painstakingly obvious what I need to do here. But just in case I need the trampoline, I'm gonna bring that over here too. Because you never know. to our problems. So maybe the trampoline was pointless. Because I just left it there! <laughs> I just realized I cannot fly. So what if I need the trampoline? Oh, son of a biscuit. Guys. I guess I'm not going for the normal exit anymore. Wait a minute. Or maybe I am. That Lakitu just gave me a little bit of a blessing in disguise. If I have enough time... Well! I thought Lakitus were just universally jerks. Funny how I talk about Crash Bandicoot, and yet we got Crash music playing in the background. Now, the music does not really fit with a forest, mostly fit an ice level, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. This is purely coincidence, I swear to god. Four question mark, a house! That's very explanatory. A simple house. Hmm. Is it really? Look, this this is trying to trick me. something to it. What if I spin jump on this? Hmm. I guess there is nothing. Around every bun behind the tree, thinking that would be the solution. It wasn't. So, what does that level even exist, anyway? There's gotta be some reason that's even there. And there's gotta be another reason why I tried something so stupid as that. I don't even know why there's bouncing fire in a forest, and somehow this forest is mainly still intact. And again, the Mario universe was never designed to make sense. Just coins. Yeah, I went there. Um, we're going this way now. Oh my god, it looks so weird in this hack, because every time the Lakitu just throws a spiny, the entire sprite just goes in front of the cloud. I don't think that was meant to do that. Oh, 
was definitely not meant to do that. Level clear. Alright, so there's gotta be something behind that simple house. Maybe we've gotta come back to it later? In the meantime, secret exit level again. This time we're in the coal mine. Oh, stalagmite got me. Gotta be a little bit more careful of those. And footballs! Those are the things you might find in a coal mine. Stalagmites and footballs. You're not gonna find coal, that's for sure. Okay, activate the P-switch here, it does nothing. So, let's just use it again. It just keeps coming back. Yeah, all these blocks come back, too. And you have no time limit, you might as well just farm some lives. If you have all the time in the world. Oh, that was weird. Somehow that did not get me killed. I don't even know where you would need to use the P-switch. Let me go in here. Oh. Oh, alright. Did I just find the exit of the level already? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a... What... What is... What is this? Why does this look familiar? Um... Did I somehow end up... Going backwards? Like... What is this shit? Pardon the language, but uh... Suddenly, I'm in a previous level. What is going on? Despite the fact this is a level I've done, I cannot exit because the game probably thinks I'm still in a new level that I haven't finished yet. What the actual frick? I don't think the game was meant to do this. If I finish this level, where am I gonna end up? Is it just gonna give me the exit for the level I was already in in the coal mine? What's gonna happen? I don't know! This is strange! This, I don't think that's ever happened before! Did I bork the game? Oh my! <laughs> exit and see where that takes me because nothing is sacred anymore I, I don't know what to expect my head hurts no I think it's mostly the back of my eyes because all this laughter is just just pulling on the back of them. Just, what is this? Alright, well, we can commit to going this way, at least. And then we wait. And 
Think about what we just did. See the keyhole. The key is up here? Yes. Alright, there we go. I don't know where this is gonna take me. Over here, good. Dangerous grinder. That is why I don't go on that website. Also, I'm straight. They're not all that dangerous. Like, look, look at these. Some of them you, you can't get hit by. If anything, it's probably the thwomps that might be dangerous. Because at least 100% of the thwomps in this level will try to kill you. When it comes to the grinders... That's a dumb place for a mushroom. The grinders, maybe over half... And that's if you don't pay attention to their, uh, pathfinding. Uh. Okay, well, that was a little suspect to me. Oh. I don't think these platforms are really needed for anything. If anything, they're just gonna hold you back. Okay, well this is not too bad. Okay, that was bad. But immediate checkpoint, so all is forgiven. Also, two feathers. Okay, I see what it wants me to do. It wants me to use the feathers to, like, spin jump on all these. Screw that! I am just gonna head on back. There! I can actually make it on this platform, and I don't have to do any spin jumping. There, I just made this a hell of a lot easier. I'm going against what the game intended me to do. Just because. Okay, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Oh. This is a weird part. It makes it seem like you have to get out of here as fast as possible, but you can just take your time, I guess. I'm just gonna keep, you know, like, spin flying, just in case I had to, like... Um, alright. Here. Oh good, another power-up. Game must really want me to use this one. Oh god. What the hell? Wait, can I not spin jump on those grinders? Because they're not really moving? Oh god. Must be used ducking jumps. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm making ground now. Oh, okay. I got a little scary at the end. But that level was actually pretty good, too. Okay, so what am I gonna get in this house? Power up. Just power up. Okay. And get a mushroom. Bring a flower. I like the way I did it. It was like, get get out of here. Uh, let's do the tree and then end the episode. Apparently it's a giant tree. Oh, I don't think that's what I intended to do there. 
have it your way, I guess. And that's what the game usually does. Has it its way. Oh! That was random! Didn't think that would work! I didn't even try to kill him that way. But I'll take what I can get. Good riddance to bad charging chucks. What was that? I didn't even think I did a, so a power slide there. Why did it do that? Oh, okay, I thought I could clip through that. Uh, this is a little treacherous. I haven't had issues with a giant tree since Link and Ocarina of Time. But, you know what? I mean... Well, after a while, when you play Ocarina of Time, Great Deku's Tree is just an absolute joke. <laughs> what was that? Ay -ay 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 -ay. Get out of here, you. You're a salad, and I can't win friends with you. I mean, I... I've had salad before recently, and I was at a place called Piatto's. Uh, I think it was like a kale and goat cheese salad with a little bit of toasted quinoa with poppy seed dressing. I'm not big on salad because I'm a bit of a meat eater, but that salad was actually really good. So if you ever go to Piatto's at some point, I don't think it's just in Newfoundland. I think it might be in Nova Scotia as well. You should give it a chance. It's really good. Especially if you're a big fan of pizza. Why are these coins just over there? Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Instead, do this. Just going to approach it pretty carefully. Why are those coins over there? God only knows. Hold on. Oh. I was thinking, was I supposed to have found a P-switch? Wow, this is the first stage in a while I found all the Yoshi coins. I've been doing that regularly in, like, World 1, and then it started tapering off real fast. So I should be pretty close to the end of the stage. Not a moment too soon. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. Now, let's, let's be done with this place. Yep, those are bottomless pits, I've noticed. And we made it to the end of the stage. Good job. Now, I think it would be a good time to end the episode before we get any further in World 4. So, in the next part, oh, we got another secret exit level. T time to go in water. Not in the water, just water. Okay, so it looks like Worlds 5 and 6 are outside the overworld. That's what it looks like to me. Alright, stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye, everyone.